building has been uh, redesigned to accommodate the modern teaching functions that we're trying to achieve. Remember this is a building that was uh, a brewery at one point and it, it, you could do an interesting study of its own architectural evolution. So it, it's gone from brewery to classroom and research space to now really first rate classroom and research space over a 50 something year history. What we've done in the, uh, the floors where the teaching will happen is uh, revised the labs, uh, created new studio spaces. There are new spaces for faculty offices. Uh, there's more student gathering space and there's a whole lot more natural light than we used to have. We're also going to have this fantastic new cafe so when you need a break from um, making movies or doing photo shoots or whatever it might be that you're studying at Ryerson. It's also going to have the gallery space which will have a student and exhibit space as well as uh, space for the various shows that we're programming into it. We're going to have some fantastic shows coming from the Jeu de Palme and many other places. Um, we're going to uh, have space for people to come to Ryerson from around the world to look at our collections and to work with our students and our faculty. So there's going to be some of the traditional research space with you know, the, the tables and the chairs and the, the low lamps, uh, so there's also that piece of it. Um, and there's going to be a place for some preservation and restoration of, uh, of pieces of art as well.